is here showing us how to take tidying up from lame to game with the DIY basketball hoop hamper, one I wish I had growing up. Orly, where were you? I'm gonna be the mom of the year. <laughs> I mean, my son is going, first of all, Blake's gonna want one in her own room, of course, but of course. my son's gonna love it. Connor Absolutely. is just like every kid. His room's constantly a disaster. Oh, Clothes trying. are all over the floor. This is actually, I gotta say, this was to save my pride. I cleaned up a little bit. Okay. I only left a little bit because I don't want you to judge my parenting. Well, because his, normally there's nowhere to walk. I'm like this trying to find my way and it's almost all clothes. What did Mike say? That the little boys are? Little, little boys are disgusting. Until? Yeah, until girls become. Until girls become <laughs> in the picture, it's true. Oh, well, Lucas has, well, anyway, we'll get to that later. Yep. Uh, let's get started. Yeah. What are we using here? We've got a little, first the backboard. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna get some plywood, one inch plywood. The good news is that this size, which is a 24 by 24, is available in this size, which okay. means no power tools are necessary, no access to power tools. You can actually buy this wood as is. Easy. So we're gonna take our wood, and the first thing you wanna do is give it a little bit of steam. So we are going to style it with some navy blue stain. Now, okay. the reason that we chose to use a stain, which I actually think is super cool, is that you're still going to be able to see the wood grain. I like as it. A, yeah, right? Like, there's something that gives a little bit of that rustic quality, but the color, the blue with the orange, like, it feels modern and fresh, and being able to see the wood is very cool. I am a big fan of stain, and I like how you've got, I mean, obviously, you guys are familiar with basketball hoops, and yep. you've got the sort of the tape there to give that that dynamic. Exactly. So you're going to you're going to tape off with some good painters tape and make sure you guys to go like this on all your edges to really make sure it's a nice clean seam. Okay. Then grab a rag, dip it in, and you're just going to do the use. You know the deal when you're staining, you're going to kind of rub it in. You want to rub where the actual tape is. You kind of want to go away. You don't want to go in so that you don't get any bleeding, but it's basically like work in the direction of the paint just like this. That way you're not getting too much. You can do as many coats to start creating. Obviously, you can see if I did a second coat here, the color is going to start getting darker and darker, and that's sure. really up to you. Now, I love we this would, color that you chose. This is great. It's really pretty, right? It's got that kind of, um, it's a very cool navy. You keep now, going until yeah. that's all done. you got to let that dry. Exactly. Uh, absolutely. And now... Let's pull these guys Let's up. Let's pull these guys up. Now, these are the full size. This is that 24 by 24. And obviously, you can see we've got our hoop. I'm going to put the hoop off to the side just for a moment. And this is a full size hoop. You can do a smaller one, but there is something very cool about the like legitimate big hoop. I literally thought when I walked in here, I was like, all right, we got a little Nerf hoop. We're doing this. And I walked in, I was like, yeah, we're doing the real hoop. Exactly. I want to be like hanging off it, doing dunks all I know. day long. Okay. I know. Tape it's comes good. off. Yeah. And it's super satisfying when it does. Yes. You're just going to peel the tape off, pull back. If you get little drips, you have two options. One is to say, I don't really care because I think it looks kind of cool and rustic. Sure. The other is you can go in with a paintbrush and kind of crisp up and clean up your edges if you want, but that's really a, just kind of a personal preference thing. The bleeding that it has is so small, I, I really don't think it's necessary, but that's up to you. Beautiful. Look at so, this, guys. This is great. Now, we have to attach, of course, the hoop to the backboard. Yes. Um, talk me through that. So you are going to take us through this next step. What I want you to do is because take- Because I'm amazing. Because you're amazing. And so very manly man, <laughs> as my mom would say. Manly man. Woo! So there you go. You're gonna line it up. That's exactly where you want it, Good. down in between the two lines. And Good. obviously it's got the holes. So it's giving you a perfect guide of where things go. Good. You're going to mark those holes yep. and then you are going to drill through because we're not doing screws into this. They're going to be bolts. So Good. you wanna make sure to pre-drill, fully drill through all of those holes. While you're doing it, I'm gonna start showing how, like this is obviously, you can see the holes there on the bottom. That's what they end up looking like when they're drilled and you're gonna go ahead and do that part. Now, this is important. This is sort of our full uh, hardware situation that's necessary. We've got not only our actual bolt, two washers. Oh, I'm gonna blank on this name. This was a locking washer, a lock washer, yeah. a lock washer which has like a little kind of like split in it and a nut. So that's everything you're gonna need to make sure that these are strong enough to really hold. Beautiful, I'm gonna drill one hole. I wanted, to be, I wanted to be polite and be patient. Boom! Thank you Just for doing that. I have that. a drill, I gotta use it every <laughs> well, I like it. And continue. So while you're, while you're doing that, I'm gonna start doing this here. And basically you're gonna line them up. Easiest way to do it is hanging off a table so that yep. not only can you drop it in, but now from the back side, I will take these two pieces and I'm just gonna be able to get some nice leverage here. Actually, for right now, I'm just gonna do the nut because you guys know the deal. Yeah. And we're gonna screw it on. What you would do is you would tighten them as much as you can, 
put all four of them on, tighten them, and then make sure you go in there with some pliers on both sides, right? Both they sides. need to That's be like- That's where the lock washer comes in, locks it in there nice and tight. Now, yeah. here's the deal. We're gonna be hanging this with our, our everybody's favorite French cleat. We love nice a French cleat at Home and Family. And by the way, very strong. You find you know the joist or whatever, you put yeah. it in there. Uh, however, those bolts that are sticking out there could be scratching up against your wall. You got a great little tip for this. I wanna make sure yes. you have time for that. This is a really cool tip. So this is, remember we talked about the full set, right? Imagine this is the full set. What we've done here is a glob of hot glue, which becomes like a little pad. So now on the back side of all of these, you would glob it up with hot glue. It's almost like a bubble of hot glue. And it becomes like a little, you can like, it's like a soft pad. Yeah. So not only do we have the French cleat, which is gonna pop us out just a bit, and you know the deal, one goes on the actual uh, basketball hoop and one goes on the wall. It'll hook and then these little guys won't scrape your wall because they'll be padded. And it'll also be hanging straight because the, the, uh, the exactly will help that a little bit. Exactly. And now it is time to dunk it. Of course I missed the hoop. Here we did go. Did you miss? I did. I didn't miss the... Uh... Oh, well I got one at least. Can you go against the backboard? Yeah. Does it work against the backboard? And by it the way, does. what's gonna happen everybody is that they're gonna be playing basketball. It's gonna be all around here. Yeah. <laughs> This is, could be my Thanks favorite of all help. time. I am in heaven right here, everybody. Full instructions, head over to hallmarkchannel.com and enjoy.